It's a Ken's take on beguiled. So again, if you go into the Bible, it talks about how the serpent beguiled Eve. What does that mean? It basically means that men have a way of making women forget. So for example, when a woman has a child, during child labor and all the pain that she's going through, she's like, oh, I'm never ever gonna do this again. How did I get here? And then it's like, after the baby comes out, you know, they're like, oh, they're so happy for this new being. And then it's like all that pain and everything they went through, through child labor, the pains of labor just kind of disappear. And then when they find themselves pregnant again, they're like, oh, how did I get back here? I said I was never going to do this. This is how men are able to beguile women because women can easily be attracted to shiny things without even knowing it. Or a woman can be talking to you and a man can get her number very easily, even if she thinks, oh, I'm not gonna give you my number. And so they're like, how did I do that? Because of this innocence, the, the inner innocence in a woman and, and um, the love that she has for her own creation. You know, you've seen situations where, like I said, in the garden where this serpent was able to come and convince her. He said, but in the Bible, it doesn't actually say serpent, it says whisperer. So what the, the being was able to do was whisper sweet nothings into her ear. This is what we mean by being beguiled. Like you can tell her, oh, you look so pretty. Oh, I like your shoes. Or, you know, just you come up with lyrics. You know, there's some people that have actually mastered and perfect this to the point where they'll be like, you know what, I bet you the money I'm going to get her number. And there are women who'll be like, I'm never going to, you know, I mean, easily um, give up my number, but somehow they still end up doing it. So men can come with a flash car, jewelry. We call it lyrics. You know, they just come with sweet nothings and whisper things that make a woman feel good. And before she knows it, you know, she's in that trap. Um, but it's turning around now because now women are trying to do it with, uh, you know, people like... Um, you know, Nicki Minaj and certain people singing songs like empowering women and singing things like a bees in a trap. <laughs> so now they're reversing it to say that they can do the same. But yeah, naturally being beguiled, uh, according to Sir Ken's take, is really something that men do to women um, because it's just like you get easily bamboozled and you don't know what happened or how it happened. And, you know, the next minute you're, you're in a situation that you possibly perhaps wouldn't be in if you if you were thinking, if you were thinking with your mind and not with your heart. Um, because women women tend to go with their emotions a lot of the times. And um, so it's quite easy for a man who knows how to push these buttons to beguile a woman. And so we have to teach our daughters and we have to teach women who are not familiar with this that, you know, to, things to look out for, you know, just because someone is giving you the right lyrics and things to push the button, the right buttons, doesn't mean that their intentions are always going to be honourable. So, yeah, my take on it is once you have the right information and you know what to look out for, you will not be easily beguiled by the unsuspecting male species. That's my take on it. That's a Ken's take.